So Jules Hardy is a BBC presenter and she's advocating for the purge of the majority of gamers in the gaming industry. Okay, I have the exact quote. Uh, can we agree that for round two of this, it can be the final purge of these kinds of gamers? It's 2024. I've been arguing about this for decades. Can we have a full detox of these dudes so we can get back to the positive gaming community we have been creating? She's talking about, you know, purging any normal person and replacing them with sort of Marxist ideologues which is such a minority of people like just the thought of that's completely absurd like imagine going into like you're one person you go into a building and there's a hundred other people and then you go okay you 100 people you're all banned you have to leave and then you go i control everything now and then those 100 people just leave and go back to doing exactly what they were doing. Like, you're not that way of not engaging with the gaming industry. She's uh, doesn't realize it, but she's effectively talking about kicking herself out of the gaming industry. Because such a vast majority of people are strongly ideologically opposed to the way she thinks. And so she said other stuff about how, like, some people were responding to her saying, when nerd hobbies stop being trendy, you'll be the first to leave. And she says, I've been here longer than you. And I was here before you, so not likely. We were here first, you tourist. I highly doubt it. So, stuff like that. And it's funny because she started her career in 2005. And I don't think she started it in presenting a video game show. I mean, I could be wrong. But I think what I read about her, it she started her career as a BBC presenter. Pretty much mid-1990s is roughly probably when I started playing video games as a kid. I was pretty much playing video games, at least on and off, since I first had enough cognitive ability in my brain to do so. So I was probably playing games 10 years before her career even started. So it, it's like this kind of retarded way of thinking that she has like i'm not describing myself as if i'm unique video games are the most popular medium and there's a good chance a ton of people started playing them at an extremely young age and before her career probably even started so it's like, you can just tell this is someone jumping into a, a hobby and trying to change it to such a drastic degree that she doesn't realize she's effectively going to be kicking herself out of the hobby. Because you can't stop the most popular medium pretty much on Earth from existing just because you don't like certain people like people are going to keep making games anyways i think there was stuff like i think like dwarf fortress is a good example of this that for the longest time was completely free and i think you can still download it for free even though there's a steam version of it and it was independently developed and I believe it's still being worked on. And there was like Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, which it's had, Cataclysm has had many different versions. There's been multiple forks of it. There's been many developers working on it. So 
Like, people like that are just going to keep developing games. There's the Pico 8 platform. Like, people are making games independently for that. All the games are basically free on Pico 8. And you just pay like $15 for pretty much permanent access to Pico 8 games. So platforms like that exist. And there's nothing someone like her can do to stop it. 